the 12th of August 2023, I was honored to attend in my home village a two-day festival known as Halmig Days, which is a celebration of village life and centered on the church and village museum. And here is an ad hoc video shot during the Saturday events. And here is the lovely Wana, replete in her peasant dress. Say hello, peasant girl. And who have you come today as? This peasant girl. You're the peasant girl, <laughs> okay. Kívánok boldog halmágyi napokat mindenkinek! Tisztelt halmágyiak, drács halma dzseny, and uh, the new people of Halmágy, hi Chris! Um, hi. Picit, picit szeretném ismertetni a mai délutánnak a programját, hát ugye most három órától a Székely Zsombori Fogorzenekarnak fogjuk a koncertjének egy részét hallani, a következő felvonás az valamikor 5 óra magasságában, a Mátkad nép Dal együttes fog utánuk fellépni egy pár, egy pár népi nótával, és este 7 órától lesz egy élő zenés koncertünk. Addig is mindjárt kész lesz, a, kész lesz az étel, lehet fogyasztani frissítőket, italokat, és külön ajánlom a figyelmükbe a múzeumot, illetve a térképeket és a naptárakat, amiket hát mi halmádja készítettünk, és azt kell még tudni róla, hogy a az eseménynek a finanszírozásához járulnak hozzá azzal, hogy ezeket a termékeket vásárolják, és bármilyen, bármilyen kérésük van, kérdésük van, esetleg ötletük azzal kapcsolatosan, hogy tudnánk ezt a gyönyörű szép falut még jobban virágoztatni, akkor megkérem szépen, tegyék meg javaslataikat, addig is jó szórakozást kívánok mindenkinek! <tos> A man here with his really nice camera. Thank you. Mine's a Canon. I got a, a D90, E90. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. I think it's better. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Are you enjoying this? I'm just filming this so that people can see what actually happens at these festivals. You are from here? Oh yeah, I've lived here now for coming up to eight months. From eight months. Ah. Yeah, we live over the back. Nice to meet you. And over here they have the uh, the beer tent and soft drinks. And these the uh, the latest people to move into the village from Forafield from Brashov. Hiya. They both bought a house in the village like we have, but their restoration is going a lot slower for obvious reasons. There's so much work, isn't there? Yeah. So, uh, and you've, this is the first time you've been here? And this, uh, for this event? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah we're only here since uh, February. Yeah, yeah. Before that, we didn't know anything about this uh, village. So, so what do you think of uh, the village now? Now you can see everybody gathered here. <laughs> it's it's a really nice village. It, it was a surprise from day one, and uh, each day we stayed here, it kept getting better. Let's have a walk around.
And inside here is the museum where I think my wife is going to be, so we're going to pop in there. Uh, pardon? Are you one of those living exhibits? <laughs> yes. Whoops, I'm on the carpet. So what are you doing at the moment then? Visiting the museum, I've never been here. No, I haven't really either. Nice. Yeah. Some of the dresses are really nice. Yeah, there's a lot of things in here, isn't there? Yeah. And we just have a little walk around. As you can see there's a lot of uh, costumes from the area. Some lovely pillows over there, isn't there? there? Yeah? They have even higher ceilings than we have. I didn't think it was possible. Not much higher though. Not much higher, but still. Yeah. Higher. High is high anyway. <laughs> Let's have a look in here, shall we? Yeah. Oh, this is what we have got at home, but we need to reassemble it. This is a carpet loom. And in fact, we've also got a spinning wheel, exactly the same as that. I think ours is, what, 1900? It's, it's an old piece. And I think the, the piece that we got is very similar to this one, isn't it? I think so, yeah. But it's interesting, the setup here, because it gives you an idea of how we can reassemble it, because we need to reassemble that. I mean, what a beast, isn't it? Gosh, I think we have most of the most of the bits. There's one or two pieces we don't have, but the majority of it's there. And this is some of the stuff that's been woven here. As you can see, it's mostly in uh, Hungarian because there's a lot of Hungarians that live here. So this is Helmeg Museum. Oh, this gentleman speaks English, that's yeah, interesting. That's yeah. Why do you choose this village from all the places? Lolo. <laughs> Lolo is part of the reason, yeah. Also, uh, Jolt. Ah, Lolo. Yeah. Also, the, we love the view from where we are. We've got a beautiful view across the fields, looking over at the backs of houses. It looks kind of medieval, doesn't it? Yeah. And uh, it's a very quiet street. That's another important thing. We, we don't like a lot of traffic. There's so many quiet villages. Why this one? What's so special? Well, it's in a one? lovely area, isn't it? It's in Brashov County. We're right next to the Fagorash Mountains, which yeah. is going to be a World Heritage nat uh, Natural Reserve for all the creatures that live there, the bears and the bison. Okay. So it's an area that's got a lot going for it, isn't it? Good. Yeah. Oh, Do you live here? No, no, no. <laughs> he doesn't live here. <laughs> one, one thing I haven't really shown you since we've been here is the front of the building on the street. And I'll do that now. And as you can see, uh, it is very, very packed in here and everybody's enjoying themselves. Oh, as you can see, they've also got a number of craft stores. Absolutely beautiful. There's one thing they do well in Romania, and that is craft work on wood. Absolutely wonderful. And of course, here we have a selection of cheeses. Hi, are you speaking English? Just a little. Are these all native cheeses? Native cheeses from buffalo milk, water buffalo milk. Oh, from buffalo milk. From our own farm, we milk the, the buffaloes with the hands. Really? And yeah, yeah. That was fantastic. Uh, every, every mor morning. And of course, morning. Uh, every morning, yeah. <laughs> and you've got a huge variety of cheeses here, haven't you? 
Wow. I've never tried, I will, what time are you here till? How long will you be here? Uh, I am uh, now here on, on this. Uh, oh, the whole. I, I am from uh, 60 kilometers from uh, from village. Uh -huh. I am a reverend here and I I, I make cheeses. So my, my family. So you're a reverend? Reverend, reformed. reformed oh, reformed church. Or yeah. Well, I, I'm a Protestant as well. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot, actually, uh, I would say a, ma a majority of this village are Protestants. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in Helmag. Uh, yeah. Uh, the Hungarians. Hungarian uh, Protestants. Hungarian, uh, uh, yeah. Protestants here, yeah. But the, the wife from the Reverend, it, it was near me. <laughs> oh, right. The, oh, she was there, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, this is wonderful you've got here. How much do you. Mozzarella, uh, soft cheeses, half hard cheeses. And maturated three three years old. Mm, uh, decisions. What would you recommend as the best cheese? Uh, it depends. What do you like? Something that's not too hard. Not, not too hard. But uh, palatable. And how much did that run out? How much do you charge for that? Uh, Ninety-five lei per kilo. For a, Ninety-five lei for a kilo. Do I want to go? Do you do it less than half? Do you do it a half a kilo? Yeah. I, I, or a quarter yeah, of a kilo? Well, could I have a quarter of a kilo? A quarter, yeah. 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 Uh, I, I made in so as as in the the mark. Make sure I've got my cash with me. If not, I'll have to go and get it. Well, I'm actually going to try some buffalo milk cheese. So that should be interesting. And there's a hopeful face here. Hello. <laughs> Dogs here are always very, very nervous of people. Do you want to taste it? Have you got a call cool box you could leave it in and I could pick it up a bit later if I pay for it now? Uh, good. Yeah. Good, good. But yeah. It, I have enough. Enough. Uh, it's 27 lei. Yep, yeah, that, that would be great. Thank you. Well, this is the first for me, I have to say. I've never eaten water buffalo milk, uh, cheese. No, it will be so. Uh huh. So tell me, what got you into doing this? What? Uh, what, what made you decide to do this? Oh, uh, I like, I like the buffaloes. I like the nature. So that way, by making cheese from their milk, allows you to feed and keep them. First, I have uh, seven buffaloes, um, one bull, and uh, I, I must have made something <laughs> to. Where are the buffalo from originally? Uh, from here. Oh, they are. They're the natural, but they're bison that inhabit Romania. I no. Didn't understand very good. No, I mean, no. What country would these bison originate from? Do they originate from Europe, or do they originate from Asia or Africa? Uh, originally, is Asia. Asia, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I know the beast you're talking about now. <coughs> okay. But, but uh, here, uh, for 500 years, it was buffalo here in Transylvania. Because and they've reintroduced them, haven't they? Uh, my name. No, the buffalo have come back. They've put them back into the Fagrash Mountains. There's more. They've introduced the, the European buffalo, the bison. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Thank you. Thank well, that was interesting. This is your. Yes, mine. Your, your, and, your uh, uh, mozzarella. And how many hours will you be here for? How many hours? How, how many hours now? How many hours? Uh, yeah. I, I am here until. Uh, it finishes. Uh, finish, yeah. Oh, that's great. That's seven, eight, 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 o'clock. eight o'clock. That's fantastic. I'll speak to you then. Thank you. Thank you too. Well, that was very interesting. Asian bison cheese. That should be interesting. A lady here sells honey. I, I'm English. I just, okay. I'm just admiring your. Oh, 
honey is? All the product is made here in yeah. uh-huh. Excellent. I've just bought some mozzarella bison cheese. <laughs> but, uh, so what type of bees? I mean, you've got different colors here. Because... There are different uh, uh, kind of uh, flowers and... Uh, oh, I see, yeah. So different, a different, you get a different product from different flowers. Different products from uh, different uh, oh. parts of the year. Oh, right, okay. That's that is spring. This is spring. This is spring. Mm-hmm. This is spring. Yeah. This is, and this is spring. And this is autumn about and it's autumn. An autumn. Oh right. So depending on the season, depending on the flower, yeah. gives you a certain flavour and colouring to your yes, yes, Oh, I yes. didn't know that. I thought it was all I thought it was always the same. No, 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 no. no, no. Oh that's one. So which would you say is the best flavour? The best flavor is the flavor that you like. If yeah. you like, I can give you to try. Oh no, it's a it's a subjective. You want to taste? Yeah, I've got to taste a little bit. That'd be lovely. Yeah. You can choose for each. Uh, no, oh yeah, you've got different varieties. Yeah. Yes. Here is four varieties, but uh, at home I have one more. I should imagine you've got many, many bees. Um, 120. Hives or? Hives, yes. Wow. I'll, t- I'll let you in on something. If I get stung by a bee, I go into a state of shock? No. I do. You're not allergic. Yeah, I am allergic, yeah. But I'm not allergic to honey, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mercy. Oh, stand over here. I put it. Oh, that's really nice. It's got a very soft, creamy flavor. Yes. And this uh, is uh, uh, honey, uh, just one uh, one flower. One flower, yeah. okay. That's really, really nice. Get this is that one. Oh, uh, mercy. Um, spring. Mm. But. Many other flowers. I mean, uh, uh, fruits uh, from uh, fruit trees. Yeah, that has a much more coarser flavour. It's a more natural flavour. It's very good for mm. coffee and yeah. tea. Coffee and tea. Oh, yeah. tea. That would sell it on me. How much is that a jar? Uh, <coughs> 20, uh, 20, <coughs> lei. 20 lei. I'll take a jar. Uh, uh, kilo. <laughs> Kilograms. <coughs> Gosh, that went down the wrong way. <laughs> I'll take. Do you want a little water? Um, I've got a beer here. Oh, no. <laughs> mm, that was really good. From all the flowers, from here. Oh from yeah, the, I know the yeah. Mmm. It's more sugary that one. Sugary. Yeah. Sugary. Yeah. These and these have small sugar. Yeah. Uh-huh. High uh, fructose. Oh, glucose. Yes. No. Sh- uh, small glucose. Mm-hmm. High fructose. Oh, right. I'm with and you. These and these. Mm-hmm. The other side. Oh. I tell you what I will do. I will take a jar off you now for the um, the one with the tea. Forest, forest honey. <laughs> this is forest honey. Oh wow, look at this. That lovely golden colour. Now that, you can taste the flowers. The, the flowers. Mm. This is uh, forest, uh, forest uh, honey. Oh, that's very really nice. Yeah. That's a, that, that is really, really nice. You do, you've, I have to say, you've got an amazing selection here. But that's Thank a, you very much. I will take one jar now with that's with the tea, yes? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 
And you have to taste, uh, you know, Nutella? I've not tried that one, no. Huh? Do you want to try? I'll try, try, yeah, and try that, yeah. If you take the money out of there, so I've got my hands full. Oh, mercy. Yeah, thank you. Gosh, that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Nutella made by honey and... Oh, really, yeah. Cocoa. Oh, as the f looks fantastic. And, uh, Cocoa. Cocoa. Cocoa honey and... Uh, <laughs> It's blended. Oh, it's blended, yeah. Oh, so I can't imagine cocoa bees. Mmm. <laughs> Minty. That's got a mint. Uh, yes, yes I have a, a essential oil of mint. Yeah, I can taste yeah. it, yeah. Mmm, that's very, very good. I will stick with this for now, though. I'm going to go and tell my wife. Thank you very much. Thank you, the wife. I've had so much honey, I haven't had so much for a long time. Thank you. That's lovely. Thank you. Mercy. Well, that was really, really nice. And that's a familiar tune. Well, just for a turn of events, so I didn't realise this was going to happen. Whoops. We've got two girls here who are singing, I presume, uh, a Transylvanian song and dressed in suitable costume, which I think is wonderful. Just checking the, the, the sound. Oh, they're just checking the sound, okay. This is just a sound check, apparently. Bravo! Köszönjük a tapsot, ez egyelőre a hangpróba, az előadás az később fog következni. Ez is szép. I think we're actually going for it now. So what was that all about then? Sorry? What was that all about? Well, this was the sound check of the, of the singers, and the concert will uh, start in uh, five, ten minutes. Okay, that sounds yeah. great. I'll be there to yeah, film it. Yeah, and it's uh, it's Hungarian popular music. Yeah, yeah, the I, I got that impression with the clothing and yeah, what, exactly. and, and how they were singing as well. Okay, the and on the on, on the what language? And yeah. what language as well? <laughs> that was another clue. <laughs> exactly. How many people here would you say are Hungarian? Romanian as opposed to here yeah at the moment yeah well I think here are already 300 people and 80% should be Hungarian 80 70 percent let's say because when I looked in the museum a lot of that was uh, Hungarian crafts Hungarian craft what what uh, you've seen in the museum actually it's only from the houses from this village yeah and uh, they arrived to the museum as uh, the, the, the um, houses were sold by by the kids or, or the or the grandsons and they donated to this museum which is to, great to keep to keep yeah. in the village every variable thing because there are 200 years pieces in this uh, Do you know we've got a massive carpet loom yeah. which we're going to set up in the barn okay and that's yeah. going to be an exhibit and also a spinning wheel as well spinning room uh, spinning wheel oh spinning wheel yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I also have some uh, some other things and maybe we will make exchange yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds good oh here we go is this it uh, no it's sound check it's still a sound check okay okay we're still doing a sound check this is not for real apparently Thank you. 
So this is Transylvanian Hungarian. It's good to see that kids are doing this. This lady here, whose name is Anna, she lives in the village. She helped us out in the early stages when we were looking for a house here. And she actually went around the village with us where she helped find the house that we eventually moved into. And Anna is here now. She's a retired school teacher. And uh, she lives up near the church. So thank you very much, Anna. Oh, you are welcome. <laughs> the lovely person. Hello, Chris. And she looks after half the strays of the village, don't you? Yeah. Are you enjoying this? Uh, oh yeah. It, it's no food. Yes. <laughs> it's very late. <laughs> that, that, oh no. That, 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 uh, that we'll be uh, only dinner. Well, yeah, we've been waiting ages, a long time. It's very slow. Very, very slow. Yeah. But I think we're... I'm so angry. So angry. No, I'm not angry, no. I'm a very patient man. Mm -hmm. You have to be. Yes. It's a lovely day though, isn't it? How beautiful is Juana. Oh, Juana and her... Yeah. And she's getting the food as well. It's a very, very slow, slow, slow queue. And the people here are getting a little bit annoyed because it's... Well, the food seems to be going to one group only at the moment. Mm -hmm. You'll be there in a the minute. So yeah, it's nice to see you again. And how is my little friend Betty? Oh, she's home. Yeah, she misses Uncle Chris. <laughs> yes. yeah, she's miss She's in love with me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's in love with everybody. No, oh, no, she's a lovely dog. She, she likes people. Oh no, she is. She's lovely. Yeah. Oh well, we've been round a couple of times to see you, but you've not been in. But I'd love to come round and see see you back at home and meet the dogs again. That'd be fun. Come. Okay, I will do. Well, thank you very much for the uh, chat, Anna. I appreciate you. I know you're a bit shy about talking, <laughs> but I appreciate that. Okay, we've uh, eventually been served and we're eating these sausages. Um, they're, well, you say they're Romanian? Yeah. Yeah. And they're very spicy. They're quite, they're not like British sausages that have a skin around them, but um, they're very much a sausage. And of course, mince meat sausage, yeah. And you eat that with the, with the bread, yeah. And, and of course, the uh, mustard. <laughs> So eventually we got served, it took ages. I spoke to Lana and he said that the problem was that the um, people were pre-ordered and they should have got this all done by three o'clock, but they were running behind and that's what was causing all the congestion. But uh, anyway, we got there in the end, didn't we? I'm enjoying the atmosphere, I think it's a lovely uh, event, don't you? Yeah? And uh, I'm going to enjoy my food. I'll be back a bit later. Well, here I am seated and waiting for the last act of the day, which is uh, a band who's about to perform at 7 o'clock this evening. And apparently the whole evening ends at 11 p.m., so it should be quite interesting. There's still a good crowd of people that left here. Quite a few people have gone, but um, I'm quite surprised that so many people have stayed on. I've thoroughly enjoyed this evening or this afternoon. Uh, the people here have been very friendly, very accommodating. Obviously, uh, the language has its limitations, but having said all of that, everyone's been very friendly and very welcoming. 
and I've absolutely enjoyed this. Well, the live band is about to become live, and I'm going to go and film them. So this is the finale act of this evening at the Helmick Days Festival on a warm and balmy Saturday night in August. I hope you enjoy it folks. Ladies and gentlemen, that is really it from the Helmig Days Festival, this uh, enjoyable afternoon and evening with a live band to round the evening off. Thank you very much for joining us. We hope that you've enjoyed everything that we've shared and perhaps next year, if you're in the area, you may want to pop in yourself. Thank you and good night.